Okay, we will come back with the internet on the Mathimeter. Right. Let's see on the, the definition of the OD verse. Cutagogy, Piragogy and Psychagogy. In the latest uh, Amanat Menteri by the, our Ministry of, Ministry of Higher Education, he mentioned about what will be the year 2018, what will be the focus of the year 2018. Some of you may heard about Hutagoji. We are actually working on this Hutagoji, where students, we are developing students on to become self-directed learners. For example, like you give a task, okay? You give a task and the students have to do some research, homework, to look for information, collaborate with other students, and they work on the task, okay? To target self-directed learners. Peeragogy, focusing on co-learning, peer-to-peer. Now, today's Shami, I will focus on Actually, those three, although the, the uh, title is on immersive learning in psychology, but you can see how this, uh, the project or the task that we give our students will actually able to integrate these three approaches. Okay? Now, psychology encourages learner in an online environment. So that is cybergoji. Now, when we discuss about online environment, are we talking about the uploading notes in our LMS? People? Uploading notes in, in the LMS? Is it considered as online activities? No? Yes! <laughs> If you upload your notes and the students go into the LMS, download the notes, it is online. But will, is there any interaction? There is no interaction, right? So in Cyberpunky, you have to have the interaction. The students have to be connected behaviorally, emotionally, intellectually. That is Cyberpunky. And how do you know that the students are interacting? From their response, right? How do they respond? From comments. Did you ask them to respond? Will they respond if you didn't if you didn't ask them? We need to enhance, you were saying we need to enhance, we need to encourage them to come and interact in the online environment. But when they develop the habit of responding, giving feedback, then they are then they become self-directed learners. And that is Yutagoji. Right? So, our, our discussion will be on the cybergoji where the students will interact, will behave, how they use their intellectual imagination in the online environment. In other words, we are discussing on virtual learning. Okay? Okay. So, Cybergoji is actually a strategy to create engaged learning online learning. Learning, learning online. What is engaging? When we discuss about students' engagement, it will actually uh, a deep multidisciplinary phenomenon. Okay? Where you involve the students to be involved immersely in their learning process. So engagement involves, engagement requires interest. In students, in learners' engagement requires motivation, intrinsic motivation, and it can, it comes, it can come from the peers, mostly it will come from the teachers, from the educators, in other words, from us. And in cybergoji, we, even right now, we are actually, we, we the word uh, uh, SEL, student-centered learning is, is, is 
not even new. We don't even use that word anymore. It is we are what we are doing every day. That is student centered. It's supposed to be student centered because student will not come to your class and listen to you. And we are not the content providers. So in cybergogy, in virtual learning, in online environment, students will have to have some higher knowledge, and students need the the motivation to go online to to learn virtually. So. Actually, the word cybergogy was coined in 2006 by Wang and Kang. 2006, and now this is 2018. So what happened? What happened between 2018, to, uh, from 2018, uh, 2006 to 2018? What happened to the traction? The, the uh, when the terms cybergogy in again this year after everybody is talking about the fourth industrial revolution right and how the technology change the way we communicate the way we connect the way we, we connect to the global how we can become globalized through technology Okay, this is the figure shown by uh, Wang and Kang in, in, um, in their papers. And they mentioned about how for students or for learners to be immersively engaged in an online environment, the tasks that are given to the students must involve the intellectual must involve intellectually, behaviorally, and emotively, emotic factors okay, that involve the students in their learning process. So all these factors, the cognitive factors, the emotive factors, and the social factors are very important in cybergogy. Now, if you can see the word building communities, do you remember um, in 2007, uh, 2017 when the minister said uh, in the Amanat Menteri in two, uh, 2017 he mentioned about translational research. How, what the research that we do that able to contribute to the society. Right? And this year it came back again. How this online environment able to reach people outside your comfort zone outside the faculty outside the world well, outside the world the world okay but that's a good idea also right because outside the world yeah, now outside the world giving signals can anyone interpret <laughs> 